All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Professional Fighters League Challenger Series lightweight winner, Mr. Elvin Espinoza. Hello, well, Elvin, welcome back. How are you, my friend? <laughs> I'm doing great, great, excited. <laughs> and I'm excited to see you again. Um, I saw that you celebrated your victory with uh, plenty of beer. Is that true? I mean, I got I, I they poured it on me. <laughs> Did it yeah. taste good at least? Uh I got I only got only a little bit I got to taste, but I'm not a big beer uh, beer drinker. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fair enough. Uh what did you do to celebrate your victory though? Um I went to Disney World the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Which ride did you enjoy enjoy the most? We went to Epcot, so I got to ride um Guardian the new ride, the Guardian of the Galaxies. It was uh it was it was it's awesome. You gotta try it one day. <laughs> I will, I will. Listen, you submitted your opponent in the second round. You came up with a beautiful rear naked choke finish. You are becoming a sort of rear naked choke expert, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's usually what I get people in. <laughs> <laughs> um, did anything uh, Damir uh, Ferhat Govevich uh, do surprise you? Uh, no, you know, everything um, that we thought was going to happen happened. Uh, I was ready for, I knew he was eventually going to try to do a, uh, like a spinning back fist at one point. We were practicing that in the back and I was able to block it. Um, I knew I had to be patient, you know, because he wanted to hit me with the right hand. And he was trying to time that with me, and I was able to keep my distance and, um, you know, use my my kicks for the head kick and the body kick. So every, everything went according to plan, and I was able to execute my game plan, and, you know, everything went well for me. Your opponent missed weight ahead of your clash. Were you pissed at him for that? Uh, no, you know, I, was, I was hoping he missed. They were telling me he was going to miss weight, so I'm like, that's more money for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually enjoyed it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they miss, I, I, I can't always hope they miss weight. Like I, I want more money. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's fair enough. But you told him something after you submitted him. What did you tell him? Uh, I, it, it, I, I was in the moment when I said it, but um, because he was uh, he posted on my Instagram that like uh, that he was in a that I was in a like um. Like I'm boring, and that um, he said in the interview that he was gonna uh, finish me in the first round, and um, if, if I make it to the second round, he was gonna finish me. So I know that I, I had that in my head going in. So after the fight, I told him, "Um, who's sleeping now?" Uh, B word. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you but, told uh, me that I didn't mean. I didn't mean <laughs> it. <laughs> you told me that it was just the animosity of the contest, right? Uh, it's nothing personal yeah, with him. Yeah. No, no, nothing personal. He told me after the fight, um, I hope I hope you win the contract. Like when we when we shook hands at the end, and I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh, you know, respect is important. And you eventually yeah, yeah. won the contract. Um, what were you feeling? What were your thoughts, your feelings when they called you in the cage at the end of the event? Uh, I was surprised, you know, I was, uh, I didn't know. Cause you know, in these, in these type of events, um, you never know who's going to win the contract. Cause there's some times that some people get finishes and they still didn't get the, the contract. So, uh, I was nervous. I was nervous when they were calling us out and who's going to win. And when they did call me out, uh, I was like hyped, you know, it was a, it was a great feeling. You know, I, I went there, I got the job done and I was able to enjoy both two wins. I got the contract and I got my rear naked choke. Both uh, Victor Belfort and Tyron Woodley praised you for your performance. Were you proud of that? Yeah, I know. That's cool. You know, two former uh, world champions saying that I'm, that I'm pretty good. So <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> and your record is still unblemished. Is your record something that you cherish? very you know very very yeah i know that, that's you know that shows like uh all my hard work is you know and my dedication is you know it's showing through my record you know and i plan to keep it like that you know be a 
like Khabib, you know, finish my finish my career undefeated. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm gonna try I, at least. <laughs> you have to try, and I wish you to secure that uh, milestone. It won't be easy, to be honest with you, right? No, yeah, it won't be easy. It won't be easy, but you know, it's worth a try. I gotta try. <laughs> That's it. That's true. And what's next for you? Um, have you already received uh, some words about your next date or assignment? No, nothing. They haven't told me anything yet. Um, um, just right now, I just uh, I had some stuff going on this week because with my family, something that happened. But um, I already I, today was like my first day back at training, and I uh, just I'm gonna stay ready. Try to stay ready for. You know, if they put me in the April card or whatever happens, you know, I just got to stay ready. May I ask you what happened since you mentioned that? Uh, the week of my fight, you know, like uh, my my wife lost her, uh, they, uh, her company. They fired like the whole, a lot of people, you know, so she was one of them. So she was like going into fight week, you know, that, that stressed me out, you know, because we just bought an apartment. So... The, I, I'm like, how are we gonna do this? And I'm like, I know, like, I'm like going into this fight. I'm like, I have to win this fight. So the mere losing money helped me out because <laughs> I need more money for to get, to pay for my bills. And you know, my well, I'm trying to help my. We did we like try. I was doing like Uber and stuff like this week to, you know, see what we can do to make more money for to be able to live. You know, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. But, uh, I must start yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm glad you are in good spirits and you also seem to shine under pressure. Uh, you didn't mind yeah. <laughs> it. Uh, you delivered quite a, a spectacular finish over there. So is there anyone in particular whom you like to face in the upcoming regular season? Uh, man, I, I, I actually wanted to fight uh, Anthony Pettis because that's like someone I, when I started watching MMA, um, that's who I watched. I watched all his practices, all his trainings, like all the motivational videos I, that I would see of him. And then, you know, to be able to fight like your idol, you know, that's, uh, that'd be like a blessing. And he's a former uh, UFC champ. So, you know, to test myself against him would be amazing. Well, again, fingers crossed. I know that uh, nowadays he has some boxing fights in uh, his schedule, yeah. but later this year, who knows, perhaps, your dream will come true. Alvin, it was a great yeah. pleasure to speak with you again today. Before I let you go, do you have any last message? Uh, no, you know, uh, thank you for, you know, for having me on the show. I want to thank all my sponsors, my, my family, my friends, you know, for supporting me on this journey. And, you know, hopefully I get to see you, talk to you again soon uh, before my next fight and after my next fight. I'm pretty sure we will we will be speaking again. Again, thank you very much. Best of luck with all your upcoming fights. And hopefully I'll hear again from you in the future, my friend. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.